Greetings to the whole world. It's Landile here, the leader and the instructor of my Ninko schools. Just so you know, I decided to take off from where I was when I was taking videos on exercise 3.16. There was actually a community place, so people were making news. In fact, they were singing, so I couldn't stand the noise. Then I thought, why not head home? So right now I'm at home and again, you guys, people might be passing by here. But I don't think they will, they will get on our way in any way possible. Okay. So with that out of the way, let's read the question we're actually doing at the moment. It's exercise 3.17. This is it right here. It's a... It's a paper, rock, scissors problem. It's a game, actually. What we gotta do, I hope everyone can see. What we gotta do, we gotta write a program that is that plays the popular scissor rock paper game. Okay, a scissor can cut a paper, a rock can knock a scissor, and a paper can wrap a rock. Okay, so the program randomly generates a number zero one or two representing scissor rock and paper the program prompts the user to enter zero one or two and displays a message indicating whether the user or the computer wins loses or draws okay so here is a sample run as you guys can all see it's something pretty straightforward Okay, if you ask me, there isn't much challenging about this. However, perhaps as a beginner, you might think of it like that, right? Okay, so as always, let's create a class, a project, I mean, we'll call it 3.17. And then we simply pick a location. This is our location right here. We hit finish of course the next thing to do is to simply create a class and we'll name our class exercise uh, underscore 3 underscore 17 will go a because th this is from student a's perspective again in case you don't know student a is actually the dumbest student out of the three we have right because like basically the idea is we're giving three solutions on each problem it's just that so far on this chapter we've been facing quite straightforward problems so there is no point in doing things in three ways right okay right now what we gotta do is to create a scanner so we can read from a user create a scanner scanner input or perhaps let me go read at this time around scanner go system dot in okay go reader dot close I won't be bothering myself much about comments folks okay the point is play the point of this chapter is to well understand selection so that's why i won't be talking much about comments i'm presuming people know how important they are okay so what you gotta do right now we gotta declare and initialize a computer's choice okay and what are we gonna name our variable we'll simply go computer choice it has to be a number it has to be zero one two or three right it, I mean it has to be zero one or two okay so this is what we do random multiply that by three Okay, this will give us a number zero, one, or two. 
Okay. Okay. What else we then do? It is time we prompt the user system dot out dot print. We gotta prompt the user. So let me just go Caesar. I'll put a zero for Caesar. A comma rock corresponds to one. And then paper then paper corresponds to two. Right? I hope everyone is with me here, you folks. And I'll simply call that and I'll simply call that user input or perhaps user choice. And I'll go uh, scanner. I'm used to calling my scanner scanner, okay? Okay, reader, this time around reader dot next int. What else we then do? Now that we have a user giving us some number okay, we will simply go user choice if user choice is equals to zero what is it we will do we'll check our computer choice we gotta check our user choice against the computer's choice computer choice okay if user choice is called to computer choice, I mean, wait, is it what I want to say here is if computer choice is actually equals to zero, that is the case. There is a Caesar case. This is a Caesar case too. Caesar case. Little kids can be annoying because right now one of them is crying. But I'm hoping you guys get what's going on on the screen. Okay. Here's my nephew, by the way. Okay. What else we then do? If we'll simply do the system dot out dot print. Okay. A computer, a user gave us a zero, and the computer generated a zero or a Caesar, perhaps. So basically, the user has won. Okay, the computer. Bear in mind, the folks, this is the lame solution out of all solutions we're gonna have. So the computer choice is Caesar. You are Caesar two. Thanks to these modern compilers, because you don't have to concatenate your string yourself. They do that for you if you hit the enter button. Okay, so it is a throw. Okay. However, in fact, we don't need this. There, we don't need. Okay. In the case where a computer chose a Caesar, which is zero, and we chose a rock, else if, else if, computer choice is equals to one, that is, that is a rock. What is it we then to system system dot out dot print what we say is what we simply say is the computer the computer is Caesar Well, the computer is Caesar. 
the computer is Caesar you are rock you won basically right okay perhaps I don't need that period computer choice why can I spell the word computer okay what else we do okay okay let me go to the next line so that everyone can see I made my font huge so that everyone can properly see what's going on on the screen I know some people they are long sighted some are short sighted so I think this would work for everyone okay this would work for everyone okay and then lastly this is our last case and that is a computer chose to pick a Caesar and we gave it and we gave it uh, we gave it what a paper that's what we decided to give to a computer okay so what we then do now we go system dot out dot print again I'm repeating this this is the lame solution out of all the ones you're gonna have so we gotta wait till we jump on to our next solution so the computer is the computer is caesar the computer is caesar you are paper you are paper let me go to the next line here by hitting enter You are paper. You are lost. Bear in mind, you folks, this was the first case. That is the case when a computer chose paper. I mean, chose a uh, Caesar. Okay, else if a computer now we deal with the case where a computer has chosen a rock what is it we're going to do in fact we don't need this i don't know if you guys can see that we absolutely don't need that okay so what is it we now say is else i usually put them at first why because uh, i'm trying to group my code together however if there's no need of using uh, these curly brackets I just leave them away okay I just leave them out I mean okay so this is the case where our user this is where our user input I mean okay right here at the top the user choice is a Caesar so now we gotta deal with the user choice being a user choice being a rock okay what is it we then do okay this is what we're going to do if computer choice is zero so this is the choice where the computer decided that to choose a caesar right what is it we're gonna say we'll simply go system dot out dot print and then simply display the computer is rock you are you are caesar caesar you lost okay that was the first case okay else if computer choice 
is computer choice is computer choice is uh, if the computer choice is uh, is one and one corresponds to what one corresponds to to a rock so if the computer choice they come I know this might be time consuming but I'm assuming people that are watching this are absolute beginners so to be honest I think I'm going at the right pace okay rock you are rock too what I want to do right here is to simply go it's a draw it's it is a draw okay else this is the else part this is the last part okay on this case in fact you don't need that so we'll simply go system load out the print the the computer is rock you are paper and if you think this solution is lame i am absolutely with you on that we are gonna give a better one right after this one here so you won this this was actually the second case what do i mean by that the case where our user give us rock we dealt with the uh, caesar also dealt with rock so now we want to deal with caesar what will happen when our user decides to give us caesar no, not caesar i mean we dealt with the uh, caesar and then we dealt with rock so now it's paper so what if our user decide to input paper paper yeah okay we'll simply do the checking this is the case where a computer decides to generate computer choice is caesar which corresponds to zero i will what we'll do in that case we'll go system dot out dot print the computer the computer is uh, Caesar oh I made a mistake somewhere somehow you said the computer is look at this the computer the computer is Caesar the computer is supposed to be oh my god here we go with stupid errors let's start over okay zero corresponds to caesar so compute use a choice if it's zero so computer is caesar okay so i should have had rock here see i really hate mistake mistakes i mean so computer has generated caesar and the i mean the user picked caesar and the computer generated rock so the computer is rock you are the computer is rock you are caesar caesar so you lost you lost okay the computer is caesar you are caesar too so it's a draw right so the computer is 
paper paper you are paper it's a draw oh gosh the computer okay right here our user is a Caesar so inside our computer is a paper so the computer is Caesar the computer is a uh, paper okay you are Caesar Caesar you what happened in that case the computer is paper you are Caesar so you won I'm so sorry I mistyped here okay but that is out of the way right now so user choice is wrong so the computer is Caesar you are rock you are rock the computer is Caesar you are rock so you won so you won okay the computer is Caesar you are rock the computer is Caesar you are rock so you won right the computer is rock you are rock too it's a draw so and on the last case the computer is paper you are what are you you are rock so the computer is paper you are rock you are rock so you lost I'm so sorry folks as I mentioned before it's not like uh, I'm taking this solution from some place I just do it right away I'm just doing it right away it's not like I prepared them okay especially this one here okay so this is our last case now so computer is Caesar so what do you want to say here the computer is Caesar you are Caesar two, so it is a draw. I don't know why did I miss this thing. You see, this is what happens. I really mess up with straightforward problems. Okay, okay. The computer is Caesar. You are Caesar two. Okay, so it is a draw. Now this is a rock case. Else if computer choice is rock because system that output print again with the noise. Okay, so if we just go the computer is rock computer is rock you are Caesar oh you are paper damn you are Caesar yeah you are Caesar you are paper. Damn. Which one is it? Why can I get it? Why can I get over this thing? Okay, so we dealt with uh, Caesar, we dealt with rock, and now we're dealing with paper. So the computer is Caesar. You are paper. Damn. You are paper. The computer is Caesar, you are paper, it is a no. The computer is Caesar, you are paper, you lost. 
the last okay so the computer is rock you are paper you won then lastly it's a draw case I'm really so so sorry for any inconvenience but this is the solution right here the computer I promise on my next video I'll be moving at a faster pace the computer is paper you are paper too you are paper too it is a is a draw Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. I'm so sorry you guys I know I've taken more than I should in terms of time but we can check this out this is our first case okay, if user choice is zero that's Caesar we compare that with a computer choice being zero so the computer is Caesar you are Caesar too so it's a draw the computer is rock you are Caesar so uh, you lost the computer is paper you are Caesar so you won okay second case okay the computer is Caesar you are rock so you won the computer is a uh, rock you are rock too so it's a draw the computer is a paper you are rock so you lost okay lastly the computer is a the computer is Caesar you are paper so you lost the computer is a uh, rock you are paper so you won and then in the last case the computer is paper you are paper too so it's a draw I'm so sorry for taking too much of your time I know this should have been a straightforward problem or solution rather let's try to put a one the computer is paper you are rock so you lost you can try to give different inputs you guys I can assure you this thing works however I did not there are certain things I did not take care of okay what I want you to do is to let me know that what is it do you think it's strong or I should have done differently on this problem right here let me know in the comments so I can get to know what is it you think of course I'm gonna give another solution on this problem and I can promise you guys it's not gonna take too much of your time as this one here I made some stupid errors here and there anyways that should be it for this tutorial I'll see you on the next one cheers you guys I'm gone